Alright, May 23rd, Memorial Weekend here in the States. We are setting up to go camping for a couple of days here in Wind River Mountains. First we gotta climb up there. Doesn't look very challenging, but it's actually a pretty rough trail. And uh, Jake here, while he was uh, locking his hub, realized he's missing two, um, the two bolts that are holding the, the hub to the axle. And the rest of them were loose, so the whole, the whole hub was kind of loose. So he tightened the loose ones two missing ones we'll have we'll have to, uh, to see if it will hold up because we're not coming back uh oh I guess somebody is stuck already I think I might have to come back anyway this here has been exceptionally wet uh, uh, spring 2015 this is uh, Sings Canyon beautiful place when I first came to Wyoming that's where I came, came for the first time this trail that's going up Saddle there, bunch of lakes up there. I'm gonna see how the boys are doing. I might have to come back. Jake got hung up on something. Take the same line, line that I, I took to the left, on the, climb that big rock here. You will have to be either, or maybe you will squeeze in, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, with a little, with a little bit of uh, no, get it a little bit to the left, and then just uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm watching. You're not gonna hit anything. Just a little bit run up. Okay, I'll, I'll have to pull you. I'll have to pull you.
everything, Mitch. Those mud terrain tires definitely help, huh? That big root back there, that's where I left off last time. I oh. Didn't go any farther. <laughs> Makes it pretty easy once the trail is broken, huh? set up, food is cooking, nice day of wheeling, boys set up the hammocks, I don't know what they're gonna use it for but they set them up. I have set up the tent and we are hoping for a break in the weather so we can uh, so we can cook our meal relax and enjoy ourselves well it doesn't matter what the weather is going to do it's still a beautiful day every single time we're out here we're just enjoying ourselves Mitch is working on our potato fries. This grill, it's the first time we actually, we used to have, uh, to, we used to use propane uh, grills. This one is multi-fuel. You can use gasoline. So far it seems to be working pretty well. Fire is burning, making coals so we can cook our steaks. Mitch, are you dreaming to be a cook? What? Is that your dream? Live dream? Nope. No? But you said you, you like to cook. I do, but I don't want to be a cook. Well, you're good at it, though. Those steaks you cooked last time on our trip to, from uh, Dubois to Pinedale, they were just unreal, better than uh, any kind of restaurant. I agree, but they still weren't the best steaks I've had. The best steaks I've had was with me and Jacob. We, last time we came up here. Well, thanks for inviting me. But uh, you know, I'm looking at you cutting that. We need to cut. Uh, we need to bring a cutter, cutting board, huh? Yeah. Or is it not a big deal? It'd be nicer. I got you, buddy. Well, I'm not so sure we'll be able to eat. Running out of time. Food is getting ready, but there's a storm coming. Can't even see more than less than half a mile visibility. So it's coming. Either snow or Rain mixed mixed with snow. Most likely mile snow. And mile and a half, two miles. 
You think stuff is so much farther than we do. It looks like two miles. But hopefully it's going to be a quick one. It will pass so we can actually eat hot meal and enjoy ourselves. We'll see. Well, so far so good. It's spit it a little bit, but um, actually most of the stuff that was coming in that looked like precipitation turned out to be a pretty thick fog. It's kind of cleared up by now. But um, getting ready for to cook them steaks, I think we'll be we'll be fine. Potatoes are all done making some tea Surprising though. Probably close to a foot of snow overnight. Should be a fun day. Had to wake up a couple of times. Or actually more than a couple of times periodically and hit the roof of the tent because what woke me up first time, the roof collapsed under the weight of snow. Breakfast time. Nothing fancy. Bread, cheese, turkey slices, tea. So, it's still coming down. I'm coming down pretty good. So we kind of talked and decided Drake has to go back to town. Me and Mitch were we're planning for another night, but we're gonna pack up the camp and get Jake out of here and see how difficult that is going to be. If if it's going to be a relatively painless, me and Mitch will come back. Mitch is really excited about that part. Um, if it's going to take pretty much most of the day, then uh, we'll just call it call it a weekend and that's how it goes still coming down camp is almost packed up just finishing up the tent and we'll be ready to roll out still coming down Jake has a hard time. One of his tires is a spare tire, slightly smaller in size. And it's not much running, so he's gonna be struggling for traction on the snow. Most likely I'll have to tow him. Shell off. switch Mitch to the front because the width of the axle, his axles and Jake is similar. I'm wider so Jake had a harder time and um, 
Mitch's truck is doing very very well like I, I think I, I've said it before it's all um, stock open differentials but crawls just right through of course all the snow has uh, brought the branches and the trees bend over the, the, the trail so we'll have to do some chain chainsaw work Jake fell off the trail or slid off the trail so we're gonna try to winch him up That's the biggest. Constantly, mm -hmm. constantly sliding them through. That's all right, we'll make it. We'll see how, what we're gonna do with you guys. We probably will have to maybe use some shovel and, uh, maybe. Yeah, you know, kind of dig a little trench so we'll hold it. Because if you will slip in the same place that uh, I am, well, I can turn around and winch you guys. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to be the biggest problem with my short wheelbase. Mm -hmm. I think that's the main reason why I've been sliding off the trail all the time. Yeah. Hold on, tell him not to move. Hey, it's not moving. It wasn't done yet. some trouble. Alright, Jake's turn. We hooked up the winch. I had to turn around on the space. So we're gonna see if we'll be able to get him through. Mitch! Make, look at the cable, make sure that it doesn't get pinched. Okay. Jake, don't accelerate! 
Let it pull you, don't accelerate. Okay, now put it in the gear and slowly, yeah? Well, double it up. It's probably uh, wrapped somewhere. Nissan terms. He might be able to just work drive right through it. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, Jake, hook up a strap to him. It's gonna be the same thing. Hold on, Mitch. We're gonna hook up the strap. We're going to hook up the strap. Progressing. There's this stretch is because of the camber and and I don't know what else to say, but anyway, they slide. So we've been inching, but it's a it's a great work. I don't know. I, I guess a lot of people will look at it crazy. Who the heck needs this? all this uh, this work it's better to sit at home in front of TV well I guess not for, not for us those snow tracks work pretty well as will be demonstrated here I probably shouldn't have said it
Jake, I think you're good. Just uh, go sharp uh, pa uh, passenger. And uh, if you have to, just a slight little bump. Yeah, almost. Do it again. Sounds great. Land Cruiser, the FJ80, has been really a trooper, like a tank. Had to winch myself a couple of times, of course, no one to fill me, but let's just say it's been uh, opening the trail. Oops. Track time. I guess he's gonna try to do it without it. No, I think he got it. Not quite. I think that right tire is really messing him up. I think boys are getting the technique down before there was a too much wheel spin.
good thing it didn't fall down while while we were passing through. Mitch, what happened? I thought Nissan doesn't get stuck. Well, it's one of those times. That's one of those times you gotta stop while you're ahead and then get the tracks. Here's what I think we, we need to do, Mitch. I think uh, me and Jake will uh, get a, a, a strap, put it on your hook, and you slowly go back and we'll pull you, see if we'll pull you away from the tree. And then we can put the tracks and see if you'll drive out. But you gotta get the lo log from under the truck first. As a matter of fact, why don't you put the log next to that tree? Maybe it will, uh, well, never mind. Just like that. I think I'll be just fine just to show you like.
Oh, my battery is dying. This is going to be probably the last shot. But we had a good time. We're almost out of uh, this woody portion, a uh, portion of, of the trail. The rest of it should be uh, a lot easier. So I'm fairly confident we'll make it home. So until the next time, thank you for watching. Ha <laughs> ha!